Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to NASCAR 06 Fantasy Cup 2. Today, we are heading out to Atlanta. So, that should be pretty exciting. Let's do this. And yep, we jumped up four spots in the standing last time to take the points lead, but only by three points. So, we'll see how that goes. And here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like some wheel spin there. That thing took off on me. Holy cow. Alrighty. Oop, 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 oop. So not a good launch, but uh But here we go. Atlanta, very fast and kinda loose. Uh this setup is one that was in here from before, so if I recall it is uh both of those things quite a bit. Uh do not touch the apron, please. Me? <laughs> oh, they are modeling up. Oh, oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, God. That was almost the death of me and maybe two other people, at least. All right. Mark Martin here in the back. Don't know what's up with that. This, this guy in the all-pro car just kind of... Oh, just kind of blocking me here. Oh, sorry, Kenny Wallace. Sorry, Mark Martin. Oh, big bottle up. We're going to take advantage and get a bunch of spots. Holy moly. Okay. <laughs> we clear into 28th. We'll take it. Uh, anyway. Man, I, I miss when Atlanta was this and not what Atlanta is now. <laughs> that is uh, that is without a question. But uh, how much we can do about it. Like, I guess I understand tracks do need to be repaved and then, you know, oh, they're concerned about the speeds or whatever, but turning it into an all-out restrictor plate race, I'm just, I just think that that was really the death of Atlanta, of what made this track so great, which was long runs, tire wear, finding different, oh, Schrader, you came down, brother brother um finding different lines and seeing see guys have you know long run speed versus short run speed how that all works out at the end of the race so many good races at atlanta and now it's what it is but <laughs> i'm not gonna dwell on that too much because i have an overall sour take on the sport right now anyway so it's like nobody's really gonna expect a, a good opinion from me on things i guess but yeah anyway cars hooked up real nice on the bottom right now we'll see what happens as the tires wear and what have you this could end up being a two-stop race i'm not entirely sure but i think it is possible um vickers please it could be. We'll see how it, uh, how it plays out there. I pedaled that hard because Junior was looking to come down. So I was like, nope. Gotta get out of that. But then he let me have the room anyway. So that's good. I love how many allies I have in this. <laughs> because I pass so many cars all the time. Start and last every race. And then lap so many people at Dodge and all that. So it's like, I have a ton of friends. There'll be some tracks where that will change, I'm sure, but um, as of now, we, uh, we have a lot of people happy with us. <laughs> so that's good. Lots of people giving me room or not fighting me as hard as they could, you know, that kind of that kind of thing. Oh man. So uh, the last time, the last time I recorded an episode, I talked about how I was thinking I was pretty close to start releasing the episodes, and uh, I ended up not doing that. And I and it and it's mainly because it's actually been a while since I was able to record. 
My uh, lovely quiet neighborhood has been not so quiet lately. Everybody got off cycle with their freaking mowing. Last last year, the first <laughs> so the first year that I was here, uh, came in around the summer, and there was uh, there was like a set schedule that most people stuck to. There was a couple outliers, but like there would be at least three or four days a week where I didn't have to worry about somebody mowing, and now. Now it's been almost every single day, and then the days when it was quiet, I've had a lot of stuff that I had to do, so I got a little concerned about releasing the episodes until I felt sure that I could at least record one more, and then I'd have like a cushion. This will be that cushion, and uh, I feel comfortable saying that by the time you see this... <laughs> Well, that doesn't make any sense. By the time you see this, it will have been going. Yeah, no doubt, John. This is episode four. Or, no, five. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was a five. Um, but uh, what I mean to say is... After recording this... In, in, in current time, present time... Uh, I will be looking to put the first episode out. So, that's good. Um... So yeah, this will be the fifth episode, so that gives me over a month cushion. Uh, and as long as I can, uh, you know, find time to record a couple more here and there, then we'll be okay going forward. Um, but yeah, and by the time you are seeing this, it will have been going for a while, so I hope you've been enjoying it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments and such. But... Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if I'll do... So last time I did a Fantasy Cup, see I did 06 and I did all the special tracks. 07 I did all the special tracks, right? I don't think we'll be doing a second 07 one, but I did talk about this before. I think I would like to someday finish 07's career mode, even though that game is not great uh i think i do want to finish it at some point but that is going to entail oh god that is going to entail me Ooh. re uploading all of those okay i'm just gonna have to let kurt go <laughs> there's just no freaking way man there's nowhere for me to go and he is just diving it on me here Alright, so if you're going to pass me, then you're going to start making some holes for me then, bud. That's, that's how this works, right? Or are you just going to hold me up now? <laughs> um, anyway. The, uh... Oh, that was almost a mistake. Yeah, I'm going to have to re-upload that. And that is... You know. What, 70-something episodes that I did before I, uh... I stopped... So, uh, I would say that would have to be something that I put up on a different day of the week, or maybe more than one even, and I'm not really sure where I'm going to do that with the schedule right now. Plus, I have to, you know, the time it would take to, to re-upload all that stuff, too, is a, is a thing, and do thumbnails. I mean, I could probably use the same ones, but I have to, like, find them all again. I do save everything, but, like... Yeah. Oh, I got up into the safer barrier. That was scary. That was not what we wanted to have. Okay, we just halfway on fuel. After 16 laps, I mean, there's 17, but after 16 laps, that means I'm going to run out on lap 32. That means this is going to be... Well, yeah, it's going to be a two-stop race. Yeah, I, was, I don't know what I was thinking. I was about to say three, but that's not right. So yeah, two-stop race. All right, interesting, interesting. At least the tires haven't started going bad on me yet, he says, knowing it's probably about to happen. We've made it up to sixth. We did get some damage there. That's not ideal. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I'll be thinking about that. I'll be thinking about that. Um, I think when I do finally get to the point where I want to 
finish it. I'm probably going to do the end of 07 as a stream. Just because I'm already recording this. Um, I don't want to also have to record that as well. Um, you know. As far as like finding a special time in the day to do it. So, uh... Whenever the time comes that I get it caught up, then I'll, I'll stream the end of it. I, I will, of course, then put them up, you know, as videos or whatever. But, like, what I mean is, um, it'll be the stream format for it, I think. That way I can get through it faster, honestly. <laughs> um, and then we'll see from there. Like, my original plans had been to do another season of 07 beyond where we left off. Because my idea was to try to end it on winning all four titles in the same season, personally. Um, but the game is so rough, I don't know if I want to do that or not. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But um, anyway, that's all future talk. It's not something I'm going to worry about right away. We've got this series, and of course Heat 5... And, uh, oh god, I overdrove that entry and got real squirrely. I'm getting loose too, even before the tires start to wear. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be something we'll worry about in the future, but, um, but yeah, it is, it is in the back of my mind, and it's something that I will probably, probably end up doing. Okay, so we are. We're in the top five, you know, things uh, could be going worse. We've got Greg Biffle here, Carl Edwards, Jimmy Johnson, and Jeff Gordon way out in front. Well, way out in front, but up ahead there, decent gap. We're really fast, but the handling is definitely going. Yeah, there goes our first tire, so the handling's only going to get worse now. For sure. I kind of want you to not be a rival at all like you weren't really that in any way that was going to cause a problem but i thought you know kind of work on uh turning the tides there of making you maybe an ally okay looking low want this to be a nice clean pass on the biff the biff there we go. Clean pass. Beautiful. And we head up here towards his teammate, Carl Edwards. But yeah, what else? What else is there to talk about? I don't know. Orange fuel light. We're going to try to go as far as we can, which would be lap 32. But we also got to be careful about these tires. We don't want to get uh, in a bad situation. If we can help it. But, uh... But, yeah. You know, seeing the, that article or interview or whatever it was where Carl said that in the right circumstances he might come back. Now, I know, granted, he said uh, less downforce, way more horsepower, he'd come back. And I get that, like I get, I get the, well, I knew as soon as I went down there that I went too low and there was just no freaking saving it. Dang it. Dang it. That is not what we wanted. <laughs> that is not what we wanted. We're pitting earlier than I want to here, but also we got a bunch of damage too. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I, I made a dumb choice there. And Carl's mad at me, so there's that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and bring it down pit road, obviously. We can only have gone a few more laps anyway. We are going to repair the damage, so we're going to lose some spots here, but not much I can do. What I don't need is you doing that. I'm already going to be in here extra time for repairs. Freaking Jack, man. All right, well, that was like a 22-second pit stop, so great. Luckily, we are still in the top 10 somehow. It's surprising. Oh, hello, Kurt. Getting run to my outside. Sorry about that. No interruption. But, uh, alright. Oh, I'm 
I'm trying to keep her down here, keep her down here. Okay. Keep McMurray behind me here. Okay, so. Settle in, get get Kalon back forward again. We, like say, we, uh, we lost some spots there, but you know what? The car is repaired, so it's okay. We've made our way into, what was a third or whatever, but, uh, I just made a mistake, you know? I, I, I uh, I got greedy, and, I'm, and I, uh, I wasn't going to make that corner. <laughs> I was not going to make that corner, and that's, that's on me. How is Travis Quavel in the top ten? Also, why is he my ally? I know why most of these people are my ally. Like I said before, I've passed so many people, but... A, I don't like Travis Quaffle. I don't want him to be my friend. <laughs> Tony Stewart, you're my friend, but you're blocking me like a madman. So there's that, I guess. Look how that counted as bump drafting. Not exactly uh, what we wanted to happen, but you know, it's fine. Oh, these fresh tires are making this possible, but this is scary. I need you to move up, Stuart. I'm not going to make this corner. Okay, thank you. Little wiggle room there <laughs> so I can turn in a bit. All right. The DEI boys up here. It's a good day for Michael Walter. Meanwhile, Jeff Gordon continues to lead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that was, uh, again, I, I uh, got too low there, but, uh, oh, sorry. I am not that sorry. Got a little too low there and touched the, uh, didn't really touch the apron, but touched the paint on the, on the edge and it, uh, and it sent me. That's okay. We didn't kill anybody or ourselves. Just probably scrubbed a little good off the tires, but otherwise we'll be okay. So now we got to see when we go halfway again. We know uh, we'll have 16 laps after that, you know, thereabouts, 15, 16. So we'll see when that is and, and see how it all lines up. That Having to pit earlier there than intended probably didn't make it great i wanted a shorter run at the end you know for for our tires but we'll see how it all plays out i guess it's not going to be ideal either way all right back in rhythm here back in rhythm <laughs> ay, ay, ay. but no what i was going to say before all that went down with carl i was talking about carl uh he was obviously talking about cars getting back to the way they were back in the day, and, and that would that would be great, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. So I know him saying that was more or less him saying he's not coming back. But he did say something about maybe, you know, maybe at a, a road course or, or something. So it would be cool to see him come back. Sorry, Stuart. Uh, it would be. I don't foresee it, but it would be cool. It would also be cool to see him show up for, like, SRX or something. You know? See him out there with uh, Stuart and Biffle and all these guys again. That'd be neat. But, uh, yeah. It is, it's crazy when I play games like this or I watch old races and I'm just like, man, the roster was so stacked with guys who could win on any given weekend. And, you know, they talk a lot about, like, uh, how the new car or whatever has made it possible for more guys to be competitive and more chances for winners. And there were a lot of winners last year, that's true. But, I don't know. There was just something a lot more organic about it back then, where it was like, this guy has a chance to win because he's just that good and he's driving his guts out and he makes something happen or this guy
pulls off the perfect strategy or whatever. And now it more just seems like bumper cars, a million cautions, and this guy's out in front. When the race is over, the end, you know, it's just, I don't know. I know it's not always the case. There have been some good races or whatever, I guess. But it just doesn't feel the same. But I'm old and jaded and nobody cares. So. <laughs> anyway, back to the top five. Uh, Bobby Labonte followed me there for, for a couple of those spots and finds himself in the top five now. Closing in on uh, Biffle, who's looking underneath his teammate Carl Edwards. And they're right behind Gordon. He doesn't have the gap that he had before. So, uh, they're real close, those three cars. I'll be trying a new line, trying to get a run, perhaps on the outside to close the gap. It is a very biffle thing to do, so kind of makes sense. Didn't really work, though. But, yeah. See if we can reel in this uh, top three and then see where we're at on fuel and all that. And of course, after talking about, hey, I finally have a quiet day to record, a mower has started, but I think it's far enough down from here that it's not really going to be noticeable in the recording, hopefully. It's only something that I can hear that's annoying, but I don't think it'll be too bad for your video, and hopefully the engine sounds will drown it out. But either way, we're going to ignore it and press on because I'm already over <laughs> halfway to this race, so I can't stop now. It's crazy, man. It's like, oh, 15 minutes of peace, you know? I mean, it was more than that, but it's like I had uh, I had to work. <laughs> and it's like, okay, I'm done with work, and now more. You know, it's like, I, I have no way of planning around this because these people have just completely upended any semblance of a schedule anymore. It's like, it used to be, like, most of them mowed on the weekend. And there was a mowing service that came around that was mostly on the weekend. A couple outliers might do it on like a Friday evening. Or if they's getting real weird in the middle of the week or something. But that, it, like majority of the week, quiet, peaceful. But this this year, the, the, the warm weather hits, the grass starts growing. And for some reason, everybody just decided they were going to do it on a completely different day than they had been. Even the mowing service has been around on completely different days. It just doesn't make sense, and it's frustrating, but... It's not like I can tell people how to live their lives just because I want to record video game <laughs> footage, you know what I mean? Like, uh, hey man, I'm in here trying to record for my channel that doesn't even make me money. Shut up. Uh, it is what it is. The only other thing I've thought about doing that might that might work would be to uh, to either delay the start of my stream and record then, or end my stream early some nights and then record with the rest of the time I have there. Like that's the only thing that I can think of that might work uh, to let me have some because at the very least people aren't mowing in the middle of the night luckily <laughs> don't give many ideas but yeah all right so carl really putting pressure on jeff gordon jeff gordon actually might lose the lead for the first time this the entire race Ooh, that was a block he just put on him there was not there was not much space between those cars I'll tell you that we got to the back bumper of Biffle there a little bit sooner than I was expecting. Oh my gosh, Biffle. You shot me like that, bro. Alright. Carl's still looking underneath Gordon. Is Gordon going to close the door again? He is. And we got some rivalry there with Carl. Not enough to make him mad or anything, but... uh. Let's try not to have any more incidents with him. Oh, I forgot to pay attention to when the freaking halfway on fuel happened. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I was talking and not paying attention. I'm going to guess it was two laps ago. 
which would put us right on the fuel window. Oh no, this is gonna be way too close. I'm gonna have to stretch this as far as I can, huh? Because if it was lap 49 completed, 32, that's 81 exactly. Oh no, oh no. Don't crowd me, bro. You don't want to repeat of what happened earlier. Okay, clean pass. Huh. Yeah, uh, we're going to have to stretch this as far as we can. That's crazy that it came down to that. It's just only because of the, the caution when it came out when I wrecked. <laughs> uh was a few laps early man and then and, and, yeah that's too bad <laughs> well we've made our way up to second closing in on the man who has led every single lap so far he almost lost the lead to carl but carl couldn't get it done now we're behind him should i be saving fuel right now most assuredly you can't save a lot no oh, it's orange fuel light already what Oh no. Oh no. Wait, what am I saying? Am I an idiot? I'm an idiot. Never mind. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. As I have an epiphany that I'm an idiot, I hit the wall, so that's good. Um I am an idiot. Never mind all that stuff I was saying before, because it wouldn't be 32 laps from 49. That would be if we pitted. <laughs> Halfway at 49 would mean 16 laps, which would be 64. And then we pit. And we only got to go 17 laps. I don't know what the frick I was thinking, guys. Just ignore me. So if we pit on lap 64, we... We'd need a little more than half tank fuel. I mean, we'll probably take a whole tank. I'm not going to take two tires or any of that nonsense. My tires are going away too fast. But, but yeah, it's only half of a run. So my tires won't wear to the end. Man, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> if I had pitted on lap 49, it would have been exact amount or whatever. But, yeah. Aye, aye, aye. All right, just ignore me. It's fine. <laughs> All of you, like, immediately were going to the comments and be like, I can't believe John's this stupid. And then two seconds later, John's like, oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, see, that's why in stream chat, I have a command that people could use. Exclamation point dumb, which makes the, the chat bot go, John's dumb check, which originated from my dear friend Liam, who loves telling me I'm dumb. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, sometimes it, ow, sometimes it proves to be true because, um, uh, sometimes I don't think I just start talking and reacting and then I'm like, oh wait, never mind. All right. Honestly, I don't know if we're going to make it all the way lap 64. We don't have to. We can pit any time now and be fine. And honestly, with the tires going like they are, maybe I should. I'm not going to take damage repair, even though I've beaten up the car a bit here. I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to take tires. I can't remember what the speed on pit road is, so I went 60. I think it was more than that, but whatever. No. And... Yeah. All right. So what we need now is no cautions. If cautions come out, this ruins everything. But we've short pitted here. We're going to get out on fresh tire. Twice now this man has fallen down. <laughs> Fix your feet, dude. Um, we're going to get out on fresh rubber. We're going to start making up time on those guys who are on old tires, hopefully. Not the caution came out. I can't believe. I can't believe. Did I get lapped? Oh my god. Denny Hamlin. Or wait, no, I'm sorry. That's, uh... 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Jason Leffler uh, ran directly in the back of Kyle Busch, got T-boned by uh, Ricky Rudd. All right. Did I get laughed? I don't know. Honestly, we'll find out, I guess. I, I'm 26th. I think I'm on the lead lap. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're probably not going to win, though. I'm going to be real with you. we got Carl Edwards behind us, so he also got screwed by this. Um, we're probably not going to win. Jeff Gordon somehow retains the lead? Wait. What? I did... Huh? If I didn't go a lap down... They are like three and four wide up there at the front. If I didn't go a lap down and then didn't pitch, shouldn't I have been in the front? I don't understand. I am confused. Jeff Gordon is still the leader, but those lap cars are splitting him left and right. And the caution is out, and this is not good for me. I need every lap I can get here. Sterling Marlin lost a hood, so did Leffler. Not ideal. Uh, we definitely needed the... Uh, we definitely needed the, the, the laps here, and we're losing them. So now we're down to 12 laps left, and uh, we didn't really gain any ground there. So Not ideal. Not ideal. Um, Carl, I think, I don't know that, yeah, he, they're just going to keep losing. Okay, yeah, we're screwed. I can't believe this has happened. <laughs> this is what I get for short pitting. I never short pit because I'm always afraid a cause that's going to come out. This is what I get. This is what I get. I Meanwhile, I think Biffle took the lead. Biffle took the lead, yes. Please stop dropping debris and bringing out cautions, for the love of God. All right. Got to get up to speed here. I mean, there's only freaking coming to seven laps to go. So, I mean, it's freaking over we're not going to win this race but we're fast so maybe we can pass a decent chunk of people and not lose a million points depends on where Stewart's running and people like that that were close to us in points I guess uh, Biffle was one of the ones close to us in points though so he's definitely going to be the points leader after this this is very unfortunate this is very unfortunate I thought you know short pit get out there Make up time for the, especially the bad freaking pit stop. But for some reason, I just don't feel like they did us right on lining us back up. Because if I don't pit there, I don't think I was a lap down yet. Kashi came out before we even finished the pit stop, so they couldn't have circled back around and lap me, could they? So I should have been out in front. It doesn't make any sense. I think I got screwed by the game on that, but I don't know how much I can do. Let's just pass as many people as we can before the end of this race and uh, try to salvage some points. Five to go. It's the fastest lap of the race. Unfortunate that it's now in this situation, but yeah, whatever. I mean, it's good that we're fast. That's not what I mean. I just mean it's unfortunate that we're in this situation. No, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> we do not have time to wreck. That would effectively end our chances of gaining spots here. Boy, all right. Come on, come on, come on. Four laps. I'd love to get a top ten, but some of these guys are going to be lapped down, so I'm probably not going to get a top ten. Jimmy Spencer is yet my ally and yet also blocking me to the freaking apron because he's an idiot there's Leffler who started this whole thing by running into a pitting Kyle Bush oh god chase it <laughs> Run here. Oh man, Nemechek with the huge block on Johnson there. It's unfortunate. I 
can be a little aggressive, but not too too much so that we end up on the apron and dead. Two laps to go. Man, top 10 is possible. Very unlikely, but possible. Dang it. Couldn't get underneath him. That was pretty much the only chance of that coming true. Maybe. I don't know. Harvick, you stay underneath Junior. That'll help me. That will help me. All right, all right, all right. I thought I could loosen him up from a distance. Did not work. Harvick's going to block us here, which is not going to really help. I'm going to push him into the corner. Try to get him loose. Can't do it. Going to end up freaking 11th, not even a top 10. Dang it. I mean, we got fricked over, I think, mostly by the game. Greg Biffle ends up winning this race. So, Greg Biffle leads the final 15 laps here at Atlanta, ends up winning the race. Jeff Gordon led 66 and the most laps. The only two people to lead laps in this race. He ends up finishing second. Got Ryan Newman, Tony Stewart, Mike Bliss, Elliot Sadler, uh, I'm going to assume that's Kurt Busch, Jeff Burton, Jeff Green, and Kevin Harvick, your top 10. We rallied to finish 11th after getting completely fricked over by the game because I'm pretty convinced we should not have lined up 28th also those two extra cautions for debris definitely played a part we could have easily been in the top 10 possibly top five if not for the laps we lost there should i have pit early no but like it seemed like the smart call except for the fact that they were going to be idiots and cause a wreck anyway let's go through the rest of the field here See where everybody else finished. Got some people who got decent finishes because they lucked out on that uh, caution, I guess. These are the guys that got caught a lap down. Michael Waltrip, who was running in the top 5 and 10 all day, ends up 38th. Unfortunate. And Kyle Busch, who got <laughs> rear-ended coming to pit road, ended up out of the race. The only car not to finish. So, unfortunate. And we are definitely not going to be the points leader after this. Oh, well. Moving on. So after that turn of events, we go from three points ahead of Tony Stewart to 27 points behind, slipping to third. Greg Biffle leapfrogs us into second place, only seven points back. Wright Newman sits in fourth, Elliot Sadler fifth, Jimmy Johnson sixth, Carl Edwards seventh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. eighth, Kurt Busch ninth, Kevin Harvick tenth. I had forgotten Jeff Gordon hadn't been doing well, but that run got him up to 12th. Now, Mike Bliss has been having a series of good runs, and that was another one. He sits 13th in the points. That is crazy, especially since he's ahead of Mark Martin and some other really good people here. So it's kind of crazy. Matt Kins is having a terrible, terrible time. Walter could have used that good finish. He almost looked like he was going to have. Kyle Busch not doing so well either. So, yeah, there's the rest of the field down to 46th. So we've had a few extra people in the field there. But uh, yeah, we've slipped to third, but you know what? It's okay. You know, we're going to have some really good races coming up. Although, probably not the next one, because the next one is Phoenix Road Course. And that is a very difficult race because of uh, a couple of those turns are very <laughs> challenging. And I have been known to frick them up and uh, really, really not do well. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hammer that like button, share with your friends, subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys next time for more NASCAR 06 Fantasy Cup 2. Bye. Just shut up.